Sess Queen Amy here with a Where Are They Now by Lenovo Legion. Um, the first question we had was, what was I doing before the ePrentice? So before I entered the Lenovo Legion ePrenticeship, I was doing some freelance writing for The Escapist. Um, so I'd started doing some game reviews over for that site, which was really, really cool. Um, and so in my head, I already thought I was too far along in my kind of journey with games to even be considered for the e-prenticeship. Um, but one of my friends, Ethan, who I'm really, really grateful for, uh, sent me the link and said, Amy, like, I really think you should apply. And I said, oh, but no, like, why me? I, I can't do that. And he said, no, I, I think you should. Um, and I'm grateful every single day because it completely changed my life. Um, so yeah, I was doing some freelance writing work and I was working in fitness. What am I doing now? So I work full time as a junior producer at SMG Studio. Uh, the thing that's really, really cool about that is it's something that came about because of the e-prenticeship. Um, during my time as the e-prentice, uh, Ashley Ringrose, who is the head of SMG Studios, was one of the mentors. And so we got chatting and one of the first things he said was, have you ever considered being a producer? And it was my absolute dream. Uh, when I first started digging into games and finding out how they're made, I went, that's something I think I could be all right at. Uh, and so for the last couple of months, I have been a video game producer and I still pinch myself every day because it doesn't feel real to say that, that I'm a producer. So that is what I do. That is my full time job. It is so, so much fun. Um, on the side, I still make some fun gaming related content and I still teach group fitness because I just love it and I love to have that balance. What was my favorite part of the ePrentice competition? The thing that was so, so cool about it was getting to meet so many incredible people from different aspects of our industry. And I've been fortunate that I have gotten to do some additional bits and pieces of work with every single one of the mentors that I had during the apprenticeship. And it's just incredible. Games have so much to them. And there are so many different things we can do as part of the gaming community. There's been so much that has come out of it. And I've had so many incredible opportunities that I really don't think I would have had otherwise. And so I, I am just so grateful for the apprenticeship. Oh, what is my favorite part of the gaming community? I love the ways it can bring people together no matter where they're from. It can connect people over something that they love straight off the bat in a way that no other hobby or interest can. And I think that's what makes it so special. And I love seeing communities rally together to be a force for good. And it's something we see more and more with charity raising efforts and all sorts of incredible things. And I think it's just a really special place to be in. And I've met so many wonderful people that I'm so, so grateful for every day because of games. And yeah, that would have to make it my favorite, favorite thing about the gaming community. Uh, what games am I looking forward to most that are coming out? There are so many games I am so excited for. It's not even funny. Um, of course, I'm looking forward to God of War Ragnarok. That'll be an absolutely incredible, um, overwhelming experience that I cannot wait for. Um, but one thing that I'm really, really excited about is all the unbelievably cool indie games coming out of Australian developers. We've seen so many in recent years and there's only more coming out in the form of things like Broken Roads, uh, Wayward Strand, which is coming out very, very soon. And Ah, there's just so many, so many cool Australian games. And I, I'm just beside myself with joy and excitement at all of the fun and unique things that we're going to get to see over the next little while. So th those are some of the ones I've like got high on my radar, but oh, there's too many to name. Too many, too many games. What is my proudest moment in gaming? My proudest moments are really hard question to answer because there have been so many different moments throughout my gaming career that I'm really proud of. Um, getting to be a part of the Adventure is Nigh Dungeons and Dragons series. So getting to be involved with like tabletop gaming um, and connecting with players from around the world to do that has been really special. 
And getting to see the product and the fruit of that experience is something I'm unbelievably proud of. And I'm grateful to have been in a position to be involved in a project like that. My day-to-day -day job, I am so proud that you know, little old girl from Canberra could get to be a video game producer. Like that to me is just unreal. For so long, having worked in fitness and performance and all these other things, and people would say, what do you want to be? And I'd say, I, I want to work in games. And people would just go, what? I don't, I don't understand. And it's because we just don't see many, many people that get to do that. And so I feel so privileged every day. That is my job and that I get to help make a video game with people that are so unbelievably talented. And so that to me is something I'm really, really proud of is getting to be surrounded by and getting to experience so many incredible people and their artistry. And so that is something I am very grateful for and very, very proud of because not everyone gets to be here. And what I am hoping the future looks like for me with games is getting to use everything I've been able to learn. I have had so many incredible experiences with so many different people in the gaming industry that I just want to be able to help bring that information and that knowledge back to help uplift and maybe even inspire just a little bit because I feel so grateful and so proud every day. And if I could help bring some other people into that space and make them feel welcome and fill them with the bits and pieces of knowledge I've learned, then that would be my proudest moment in gaming. And I hope I have the opportunity to do that one day even more. So thank you. Thank you, Lenovo. Thank you so much. I am eternally grateful for everything this incredible experience has given me. My job is so cool. Everything is cool. Games are amazing. And that's it. That's all I have to say. Thank you. <laughs>